Hello and welcome to number 12 of our Lent Reflections and what other pasta dishes or what other dishes to stick into the bag which are going to the food bank that remind me of my childhood? Well, it is absolutely my childhood when I think of Thomas the Tank Engine. So here are Heinz Thomas the Tank Engine shapes and sauces. Um, I remember many days where I was sat in front of the television and in fact I have to admit I still do it now when I'm ill if I'm feeling very poorly and I have the cover over me I will still stick on Thomas the Tank Engine with Ringo Starr as I don't know a kind of a comfort blanket I hope I'm not considered to be too odd or uncool by admitting that but there it is so shall we look at our Bible passage for today we are back in the Psalms and we are in Psalm 130 verses 5 to six, and this is what it says. I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. I wait for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. That word again, wait. Yesterday, we were thinking about the discipline of going through our life and finding those blessings. The idea here, though, in this psalm today is slightly different. It can be personified in that picture that we get given as the watchmen wait for the morning. And it encourages me to ask a question about how I, you, we pray. So often that laundry list of petitions that we bring to God, which are then always inevitably wrapped up with an element of spoken praise and spoken humility, which absolutely resonate the, the ideas, the wishes, the desires of my heart for those things and those people whom I love and those people that I want to remember. That is absolutely a key portion of prayer but one thing it does not allow for us to do is to hear God back. That activity that watchmen engage with in this passage that is not a wordy activity it's not filled with petitions those watchmen who are there are not bowing down and they are not saying over and over again, God, bring the dawn, God, bring the sun, God, bring us light. It is quiet, it is thoughtful, and it is meditative. And when that dawn breaks, there is an appreciation of a couple of things. Firstly, that God has fulfilled his promise once again to bring another day and to keep life going. But two, it fulfills that requirement for the people like the psalmist who are contained within a society that do not have access to some of those um, modern conveniences that we have. The work of the day cannot happen for the psalmist and indeed for the people he speaks about without the light coming up in the sky. That which is required to survive going out and looking after the farm, going out and collecting the food, going out and sharing and bartering and travelling. All of those things stop when the dark is there. So the watchmen that wait for the morning are important. As important as the morning when it comes and announces God's perseverance and God's faithfulness to us. How often are we quiet when we pray? Not expecting to have to say long-winded, glorious, holy language, but just to wait. To wait for God to speak to us. To show his faithfulness. To show us the light for the work of the day. Lord Jesus, May our prayers be patient. May our prayers be relational. 
may we not be the chatty child who always needs to be heard. May we be the listener who waits for you to speak to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. And Amen. And Amen.